Biblical DNA here, and today's topic, do the Druze have ancient Levantine autosomal DNA? This is family tree DNA, um, gives a brief overview. If you haven't done so, um, just come on here and read about the Druze, their history. There's a lot of great information on here. Um, got a list of their hobble groups. Um, unfortunately, they only have the Y DNA. They don't have the maternal DNA. So we got what we got. All right. This is the vow duel. All right, this is the admixture. So of course, I use um, the source that I came up with to see what their ancient origins would consist of. So what we see um, top left is the Barut. This is the Iron Age two sample. Um, the Druze individual, Israeli Druze, has 52.2% matching up with this sample. Overall, we see that it's pretty high amongst um, the Druze. Second highest sam um, sample we see is a, a Sidon, a Middle Bronze Age, right here. Let's see if I click on it. Bring it to the left. All right, we see at 36%. And pretty high amongst overall Jews, regardless from Israel, Lebanon. We see the Tel Megiddo, the Iron Age. You see it's pretty um, pretty high amongst the Druze, regardless from Israel or Lebanon. The highest being 31.4%. And the average is pretty high, 13.6. So overall, we see that the Druze do carry an ancient Levantine origin amongst them. We also see that they carry a um, you know, Turkey, Armenia origin with the uh, um, Uratin sample being found at 29.2% in the Israeli Druze sample with an average of 10.9 for the Druze samples that we have. But as you can tell, um, amongst the Druze, regardless from Israel or Lebanon, they carry a Pretty good amount of um, Eratian um, DNA amongst them. Overall, we see that the Druze, um, they have a mixture of um, Mesopotamian, um, Southern Caucasus, and Le Levantine origins. with a small trace of um, African amongst them. Mainly from North Africa with the um, Teforlat 
the Iberomerusian sample. All right, we go up. I also ran every single sample um, from the uh, ancient samples under global 25 coordinates. And the closest sample that I got matching up is the Alalah Middle Bronze Age sample. And if you're not familiar, um, if you go to Wikipedia, um, they have in under genetics, according to ancient DNA analysts, conducted by um, Scortani T. Uh, et al. 2020 on 28 human remains from Tel Achani, belonging to the Middle and Late Bronze Age period, 2006 to 1303, Cal BC. The inhabitants of Allah were a mixture of Copper Age Levantines and Mesopotamians and were genetically similar to contem um, contemporary Levantines from Abella and Sidon. Out of 12 males, six belonging to Hobble Group J1A2A1, A2, dash page 58, two belong to J2A1A1A, 2B2A, dash Z1847, and four belonged to J2B, Two or J two B two dash Z two four five four H two dash P ninety six L two dash L five nine five and T one A one dash C T S one one four five one each. And that's the citation. All right, if you go to the to the other one, it's going to say the same thing. All right. But yeah, so it looks like an admixture um, of Levantine amongst their ancient um, autosomal DNA. So that was a genetic profile would be ancient Levantine. And a lot of people would try to say that they're Turkish. This, that, or another, but no, the Druze are ancient Levantine. Even the, the um, Megiddo, Tel Megiddo, Middle Late Bronze Age, we see. Coming pretty high amongst them. But just like I just read, this Turk, um, Allah sample has a lot of Levantine DNA. All right, moving on. So, what I did is I um, removed the Druze population amongst modern populations. And we find that the closest population is a uh, Cypriot. And I reckon Jews. All right. And we also have Greek Crete amongst them. That's closely related. It's Assyrians. Let me see who else was. I think those uh, um, Samaritans, Let's scroll over Samaritans, we also see the Iranian Jews. Palestinians. And the Samaritans right here. Samaritan. And we all have the Yemenite Jews. All right, but yep, like I said, um, it would make sense since they have, you know, ancient Levantine origins, they would be genetically related to people from the Levant. And 
obviously the Cypriots have ancient Levantine DNA amongst them. So let's see what we got. We have Genoplot, as I did for the Samaritans. I ran it towards the ultimate world deep ancestry. And what I found is that their um, Levant Neolithic farmer DNA is the highest amongst the samples that I ran. Um, two from Israel, two from Lebanon. Um, with the, I'll start with the Israel Drew samples. Um, got 43% for the Levant Neolithic farmer, 20.6% um, Anatolian Neolithic farmer, 19.6% for um, Iran Neolithic farmer, 10.6% um, Caucasus hunter-gatherer, 6.2% um, Pontic um, Steppe Yemeniya. The other... Israel Drew sample, 36% um, Levant Neolithic Farmer, 24.2% Anatolia Neolithic Farmer, 22.8% um, Iran Neolithic Farmer, 4.8% Caucasus Hunter Gatherer, and 12.2% um, Pontic Steppe Yemeniya. All right, the Lebanese Drews, um, so 42.6%. Uh, Levant Neolithic Farmer, 21% um, Anatolia Neolithic Farmer, 22% Iran uh, Neolithic Farmer, 10% Caucasus Hunter Gatherer, and 4.4% uh, Pontic Steppe Yemeniya. So the other Lebanese sample is 38.6% for Levant Neolithic Farmer, 21% uh, for the Anatolia Neolithic Farmer. 22.2% uh, for the um, Iran um, Neolithic Farmer, 8.2% Caucasus Hunter Gatherer, and 10% um, Pontic Steppe Yemeniya. All right, well, that's all I got for y'all. Let me see if there's any. Comments. I'm going to just end this video if there's not. Nope. All right. It's been Biblical DNA. I'm out.